what's interesting about uh, 1912, and that I wonder about the parallels to the mm -hmm. present, again, not taking them too far, but you have the Republican Party goes through a definitional crisis yeah. uh, leading up to that election. If there's anything, any lesson we might draw from 1912 to suggest where the Republican Party, as it goes through this identity crisis after 2016, is where that's likely to go. Mm. What do you think? Well, the Republicans in 1912, or the Democrats in 1968, for that matter, are good object lessons that, you know, it's evidence we can take and balance when asking that question, hey, what's going to happen to the Republican Party after 2016? Um, and the lessons from, the pre, from what we've learned from history is that the two major parties are remarkably resilient, remarkably dy dynamic. They bend to fit. They do not break. The last time we lost a major party, we had a civil war in our hands, you know, the, the goodbye Whigs. And they weren't, they weren't around all that long. So you were still in the, you know, it's very hard to draw those comparisons to the modern era where you have incredibly durable modern parties. But as you pointed out, extremely dynamic where the constituencies change. Sure, the, the, the Republicans may you know, become the party of business and fiscal conservatism, starting with the more laissez-faire 1920s, but it, it, it still was the party of the Northeast. Uh, it was, still was a, an urban party. It was a party of uh, kind of upper middle class, uh, uh, small business people and business people. Uh, you still, it was the party of African Americans until the era of Franklin Roosevelt. So you, this change comes gradually, but it does, it does happen. And, and what parties have to do, and where these, where th when third party inroads, are these moments of great um, uh, anti-establishment anxiety. I mean, when you have a lot of change, economic change, social change, that is a time when skepticism about the ability of established institutions, whether they be government or big business or big political parties to do the job, that's when it crests. And we're seeing that in 2016, as we've seen in earlier eras. And that is a time when parties really do need to reckon with how do they um, respond to these new forces. And oftentimes, the response has been to bring them in in some way.